are going to do a FET lab today. And the FET simulator lab is a density, volume, and mass lab. And you will have this paper. It's posted on Google Classroom. Or if you requested paper pencil, you should have a paper pencil lab. And we are going to start off in this block right here called the same mass. So when you get to, when you click on the link or when you click on the little um, attachment link, you should click on it and come to this page. Sometimes it'll have like a pop-up blocker and if it does, you just have to allow it and you'll come to this. So you'll hit the play button and then your screen will pop up like this. And what you wanna do is we are going to start off in the first block, which is the same mass. And you wanna come over to this kind of yellow looking area over here and click same mass. So that's going to make all of our blocks the same mass. So right now in the first column right here, you can go down and fill in for all of our blocks five kilograms because all of our blocks have the same mass. And in order to find the volume, we're gonna do something called water displacement. So if you look right now, our, the volume of our water is 100 liters. And we are going to find the volume of our blocks. And although we don't know the dimensions of our blocks to use our length times width times height, we're gonna use something called water displacement. And we talked about that on page 43 in our textbook. But I'm also going to explain that right now using the lab. So the blue block is filled in for all of the problems on our lab sheet. So I'm gonna walk us through that one and then I'm also going to walk us through all of them. So with the blue block, I'm going to click on it and drag it over and drop it into our water. So as you can see, our water over here went from 100 liters to 105 liters. And in order to find the volume of our block, <coughs> excuse me, we take 100 liters and 105 liters and subtract those. So we would do 105 minus 100 and we would get five liters. And that right there gives us our volume of our blue block. And that's how we got the five liters. And then to calculate the density, remember density is mass divided by volume. So we would just do five divided by five and that's how we got the one. And then does it float? Obviously not because it sinks to the bottom. So we can grab that, drag it, and drop it out of our water and move on to the yellow. Again, the yellow is five kilograms. We're gonna take it and drop it into our water. Does it float? Yes. So all the way at the end, we can fill in that column for yes. Does it float for our yellow block? Yes. To find the volume, we actually have to pull it all the way down under the water to make our volume of our water change. So you have to tap on the block and pull it down. And that changes our volume of our water over here from 100 to 110. So now we have to take 110 and subtract 100. And that will give you the volume of the block. And then to find your density, take five and divide it by the volume. So take your mass divided by volume and you get your density. Now we will take the yellow block out and move on to the green. Drop the green one in. Did the green one float? What is the volume of the green? we would do 102.5 minus 100 and fill that in for the volume of the green. And for the density, take that mass and divide it by the volume. Take the green one out. And lastly, move it to the red. Take the red, drop it in. Did the red one float? What's the, uh, the volume of our red? Take 101.25, subtract 100. And lastly, do your mass, which is five, divided by your volume.
Okay, go ahead and pause the video and do all those calculations. There is one question at the top that I didn't answer before we started. It's this question right here, right above the chart, and it just asks, when you click the same masses, are all the blocks the same size? Obviously not. Yellow is bigger than blue, and then green is bigger than red. Yellow is the biggest. So pause the video. Go ahead and do all the calculations for the same mass. Okay. You should have just finished up those calculations for the same mass. The next one is same volume. So now we are going to move to the same volume. And just like we did same mass, we're going to come over here to the side and click same volume. So now <clears throat> we are going to start off with the blue block, just like it's filled in in this chart. So our mass for our blue block is 6 kilograms. We drop it in. Our volume is five, because it went from 100 to 105 liters. So now we have to take our mass, which is six, divided by five to get our density, and then did it float? No. So your density for that one was 1.2 kilograms per liter. And that one is already filled in for us. I was just walking us through the steps. That blue block is already filled in, so you did not need to fill in anything for that one. So now let's move on to the yellow. And again, the yellow should have the same volume because everything in this one is the same volume. So your mass is now eight kilograms. So let's drop it in. Did it float? Fill in your mass. 8 kilograms, and we know that because it's written right on the yellow block. Your mass should be 8 kilograms. Our volume is going to be the same as the blue, so really we can fill in our volume all the way down this column as 5 liters. And then our density would be 8 divided by 5, and then did it float. Next, let's do the green. So fill in your mass for the green, which would be four kilograms. Drop it in. Did it float? Remember, you have to pull it all the way down to get the correct volume. And then do your mass divided by your volume and then you'll get your density. And now the red one. Drop the red one in. Does it float? Pull it all the way down to get the correct volume. It should be the same. It should be that five liters. Write down your two kilograms for its mass, and then solve for its density. And then did it float? So go ahead and pause the video now, fill out the density for each of the blocks, go back and fill out any of the problems that we missed. Okay, now that we've done same mass, same volume, we're going to do the same density. So flip your paper over, we're on same density. When I click same density, are all the blocks the same size? So we'll start looking at the blue block again. Even though the blue block is already filled in for us, I'm just gonna walk you through it. That way if you wanna do this on your own, you can instead of sitting and watching me. So the blue block is three kilograms. When we drop it in, it floats. We have to pull it all the way down. Its volume is 103.75. We have to subtract 100, so we would get 3.75. So we would do 3 divided by 3.75, and we would get 0.8.
So that was our density for the blue block, and yes, it floats. So now let's do the yellow block. So we have four is our mass. Four kilograms is our mass. Drop it in. Yes, it floats, but we have to pull it all the way down. One hundred min or one hundred five minus a hundred. Our volume would be what we'd have left over. And then we would have to divide those out to find our density. Remember, this is same density. So our density should be the same for everything. Now the green, your mass is two kilograms. Drop it in, does it float? Pull it all the way down. Your volume is 102.5 minus 100, which would give us 100.5. And then find your density. And lastly, the red. Your mass is one kilogram. Drop it in. Does it float? It does. Pull it all the way down. 101.25 minus 100. That would be your volume. And then find your density. Remember, this is the same density as they should all have the same density, so that should give you a hint that if you're not getting the same density all down, something's wrong. Okay, now look at the density calculations for all the answers, whether they have the same mass, the same volume, the same density, and whether it floats or not. Now, can you guess the density of water? something's more dense, it won't float. So if something is more dense than water, it's not going to float. So could you guess the density of water? Okay, now we're gonna try the mystery one. This one's really fun. So it says, click on the mystery in the upper right-hand corner. Weigh each block, calculate the volume. Okay, so we're going to weigh each block. I'm going to weigh this block. So this is 3.53 kilograms. And now calculate the volume. Okay, now hit show table. So after you weigh the block and find the volume, you have to find the density and try and see what the substance is. Okay, so the volume is one. The weight was 3.53. So 3.53 divided by one, what do you think E, the substance of E is? So now I'm going to do D. The volume is 3.38. The weight is 3.10. The weight is 3.10 divided by 3.38. What do you think the substance is? This is optional. You don't have to do this. All right, so we did D. We did E. Let's do C. So 
if C is 4.8 kilograms in mass, this one isn't very, and the volume is 5.83. So I'll weigh that again. It's 4.8 kilograms divided by 5.83. What is the density? What do we think it is? Now let's do B. B is 0.64 kilograms. And the volume is 1. 0.64 divided by 1. And A. A is 65.14 kilograms. And the volume is 3.38. So 64.14 divided by 3.38. Uh, so go ahead, fill out this lab sheet. If you're having trouble filling it out on um, the Google Classroom. You can fill it out on a separate sheet of paper and take pictures of it and submit it to me. This is due Friday, so you have today and tomorrow to do it. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. If you wanna try this by yourself instead of doing it um, with the video, you can click on the link below in on the Google Classroom and do it on your own. Or if you're having trouble, just go ahead and follow through on the video and pause it at different times and go ahead and fill out the lab sheet. But if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me an email or go ahead and call the school phone and I will help you and kind of walk you through any of the issues that you're having. All right guys, have a good day.